Greetings, this is Earthman. How are you today? I'm hoping well. And I hope that God will bless your family, your household, and may your plants grow huge and large and yield big for the glory of God. Now, what do we have here? We have um, some compost uh, that I've had uh, composting for quite a while, maybe like a year or so. Uh, not that it needed it, but... Um, but yeah, it looks really good for a year, I'll tell you that. Um, and um, then I have some uh, soil that I have been saving over the winter uh, from potted plants I've been, you know, playing around with. And um, as you can see, I, I use a lot of different things in my soil. A lot of, you know, um, like clay, clay hydrostones. Um, marbles glass marbles but these are glass marbles from like the 50s and I, when i was a picker uh i used to sell different stuff but these are left over i said i'm gonna throw them in the soil and uh you know they just help lighten the soil help keep it from getting condensed uh and um not that they can harbor any bacteria or anything but maybe but more so from just you know uh you know, something for the roots, you know, creating air gaps and stuff. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff, perlite. And, and um, I'm going to mix it with the big compost pile right over there. And uh, uh, a big thing that's in this, and I'm going to add more after, is my, uh, I, I have some biochar that I've charged and inoculated. And, uh, whoa, it is really good stuff. And uh, if you have a garden, you must have biochar in it, you know, some sort, at least like a 3%, 2%, 5% ideal uh, of biochar. But, of course, inoculate your biochar before you do that. Down the road, I'm going to show you a video of inoculating biochar. When I, I'm going to get a big load from a friend, uh, well, not a friend, but a guy that I've contacted. And, and it looks good. And so that's another subject. So what am I doing here? I am uh, inoculating these two piles with my DMO 3.5, which is dominant microorganisms, uh, based on IMO 4, um, except they're not indigenous microbes, which some are, and some are collected from other places in the United States and the forests and by really, you know, big trees and with a lot of uh, microbe activity. I collected that. I just wanted a lot of different type of microbes in there. And then my own, uh, you know, other uh, stuff, uh, more uh, uh, direct microbes, not uh, like one that breaks down silica, one that's a phosphorus mobilizer, another one that is a nitrate fixer, uh, another one breaks down magnesium and iron and um you know, a lot of different metals that need to be broken down and don't get broken down very easily, only through acidity in the soil and stuff. But the bacteria, that's what they do. That's their job. And then I have a, a whole bunch of different type of, uh, well, not a whole bunch. I really don't go with a lot of different type of mycorrhizae. I really just go with endo. I put a little bit of ecto in there, but I think that's kind of useless for, you know, perennial, uh, you know, perennial not perennial but annual plants you know the tomatoes and stuff like that endo are the best mycorrhizal to use and glomus is the best uh, of the mycorrhizal strains but getting back to this i am going to inoculate this pile too and then i'm going to try to cover it up as best i can with a tarp and then the video is going to be next uh, lifting up the tarp and showing you uh, the, all the mycocillin has grown, and um, it's going to be loaded, and then I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to do it again. Uh -huh. Oh, my battery's running out. But um, So, this is Earthman from Origami Soil inoculating two piles of uh, soil and um, leftover potting soil of my creation. Uh, I have even better stuff now. I have the best... Uh, potting soil in the world water only system just wicked great stuff for gen you know the, if you want full genetics of of your plant to be realized uh and just to have to just pour water you know it doesn't get any easier than that folks and uh here at origami's living soil that's what we do we we do the thinking for you 
so you don't have to and uh, I mean unless you'd like to obviously if you're watching this video you're doing some thinking I mean you are right on the money uh, I don't understand why more people aren't on board here but that's okay you know God's in control and the people that are watching these videos God bless you because you're gonna learn a lot of stuff from Earth man because I I uh, <laughs> know nothing about nothing I'm a culinary instructor and a father of six and up until a few years ago, I was a picker and everything else. But God has revealed these things to me. And, um, you know, and I can just, you know, talk all day uh, but without results. But you've got your results, and you're going to see so many results. And if you follow along with me in these videos and like me, subscribe, you will, you know, find out that um, God, God has put everything there is in nature for us to grow our plants way better, way bigger, a lot healthier in antioxidants and nutrients um, than any chemical or GMO could ever produce. All that stuff, my friends, the GMOs and the chemicals, that's just, that's by design to destroy our souls and our bodies. And so, you know, that's not the way God intended it. So you keep following Earth, man. I'll keep following God's instructions through the Lord Jesus Christ. And may his glory be, you know, may he be glory, by, you know, by your plant's growth and ours here at Origami. So I hope you, you have a great day. And uh, may God bless you. Follow up on the next video of me uh, lifting the tarp and the uh, mycocillin go crazy. This is Earthman sign out. Have a great one.